Hello everyone, today I got a uh, post. I'm gonna open the I've already opened this. Uh, this is from someone. They sent me this watch for repair. They couldn't uh, do it, so it's a Samsung Galaxy S2. Yeah, I think the watch is break, so we need to solder this, these wires and uh, flush the firmware. So check the diagram provided here. Uh, I will be flashing this watch. Uh, for soldering USB wire and then flashing this watch we need to cut a USB wire uh, we need this piece uh, let's cut this here on this lint and then now um, just solder the wires according to diagram it's a very easy job Second wire is white, which is data wire. Third wire is green. And fourth wire is ground wire. So I have soldered the wires. Yeah. So now I have to charge my. I have charged this watch. Firstly, we need to charge it at least above fifteen percent. The watch is bricked and uh, let's keep rebooting okay so i'll put this in download mode uh, check the note how to put uh, something gear s2 into download mode this watch uh, is already in download mode so I don't need to put it on download mode because the software is corrupted and watch is break so I just leave it in the download mode as it's saying downloading okay I connected the watch now to my computer you need to make sure you have uh, installed Samsung drivers see the link on description uh, I have the files for this watch uh, SM-R720 which is something gear S2 you can find the link for on the uh, for firmware download link on the for the firmware on the description so I need to use Odin not Wi-Fi Odin uh, uh, first I will uh, add a combination file so by adding combination file is we will uh, 
we can add firmware to fix the problem but this watch is uh, uh, has a reactivation lock as well so if you have no reactivation lock problem you can directly add firmware files and flush your watch and your watch will be okay if uh, you have problem with reactivation lock so first you need to run combination file so here I'm just running combination file to remove the reactivation lock but if you have a uh, only firmware problem you can just flush firmware uh, uh, check the link on the description there is another Samsung Gear S2 watch that has only firmware problem uh, you can just flush the firmware Okay, uh, combination file flushing is done and now watch will restart okay uh, on computer should say pass like uh, yeah on computer is pass so back to uh, watch what we need to do we need to do two things first connect watch to our local Wi-Fi Okay, on the phone I go to settings, I go to connections, I turn on Wi-Fi, click my network, click on password, just put your password here. Okay, <clears throat> it's now connecting to my Wi-Fi. Uh, it's connected. So I click on Wi-Fi. I go down, find out IP address. This is the IP address. I need to make a note of it. Is one nine two one six eight one point fifty one. This uh, I need. Uh, I need it to. Um, well, this is my watch IP address. I will need it later. So I go back. Press the home button. Go to setting. Second thing is you need to turn on debugging mode. Uh, go to gear info. Go debugging mode is on. Just turn it off. Turn it on again to make sure it's just on. So now debugging mode is on. Uh, we go to computer now. Okay, on computer, uh, on SDB folder, we open SDB folder. Uh, here's a file called edit IP and run. Right click on it click on edit here you just need to change this IP address 168 uh, what was our IP address we can double check you can go to settings connections Wi-Fi Yeah, 151. The same 151 here. I'll just change this to 151. Make sure this IP is okay. You just need to save this file and double click on it. But here I will not double click because uh, sometimes um, uh, you can double click on it. It will work. If it doesn't work, you need to open this uh, file in sicon.exe and uh, then copy the co th th those commands one by one 
to this uh, black window. Don't use CMD because CMD will not work. Only this uh, black window in SI count that the will work. So you can just paste them, copy and paste. <coughs> it will connect to your watch. Make sure you disconnect the USB wire because it will not work. Now SDB root on. Okay, copy and paste. Ah, uh, target not found. So let's run the first command again. And our CDB root on. Uh, now, yeah, it's working now because I just disconnected the USB wire. It shouldn't be connected with USB wire after we connected by Wi Fi. Yeah, just run these commands. Okay, <coughs> your watch will restore and show reactivation lock off. So now reactivation lock is off. Uh, we need to restore watch by pressing side keys um, well you can do this uh, by Wi-Fi if you want you can leave it do it by uh, download mode right now is in download mode so I will go because I've already sold the USB wire I will go on and do it uh, flash the firmware by download mode uh, if I wanted to do it by wireless mode I can restart it and I can go and do that with wireless mode but I will do it here with um, USB wire download mode because it's already connected. So on computer, I close those uh, windows. I go back, click on Odin, open Odin, add now firmware files. Each BL file to BL. C is C file to CC, and AP file to AP file. So it should say COM5, one of the ports should be here. Click on start, it will start and it will finish. If you have any question, you can leave me, leave a comment, leave a, leave on the comment on the video. And uh, if you need more help, you can go to website or from the links on description. You can drop me an email. Okay, after uh, firmware flashed, so your watch will be okay and ready to use. Okay, Odin is uh, completed, it's passed, so it's complete here. Uh, and your watch will restart and install a new, a new configuration. <coughs> Yeah, you need to install an app, Samsung Galaxy app, and pair this with your um, phone, and it will work. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please share and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any idea, any reviews. Thank you very much.